Hello and thanks for joining us on City Talk. I'm Maria Soreo. On August the 4th, 2020, the cities of Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura, Japan became sister cities. On today's show, you will see that historic ceremony and learn how it all came to be. This special connection began at Miralest Intermediate School, where for over 20 years, they have hosted an exchange program for the students from Sakura, Japan. We start our story today with their principal, Frank Califano. So this all started, I want to say, mid 2000s. Malin Shitana, who is one of our social studies teachers, has been a Merrill S. Marauder forever, uh, came to the principal at that time, John Letcher. I was the assistant principal and said, I have the opportunity to set up a visitation by a group of Japanese students from Sakata City, Japan. Um, it will entail this. Overnight stays, a weekend, we'll get families to put it all together. And both John and I are so, oh my God, fantastic. That would be a wonderful experience. So the first time, I, I want to say again, was mid-2000s when their first visit came our way. Um, I didn't go to the first ceremony dinner that night, John Letcher did. I actually went a couple years later when they came for the second and I was just blown away, impressed by it all. Uh, in that process now, we have hosted Sakata City students every other year, um, I want to say since 2005-2006. Our latest visit was last spring in the February. Um, probably the best visit I've had just because of the students. And we actually had the mayor of Sakata City come and spend time with us. And he was an incredible. He was, he was very funny, a great guy. Uh, the principal was new. Uh, his name was Koichi. And everybody hit it off. And, and I think I told you earlier, you know, the language barrier wasn't there for us. We all sat down for lunch, but we all understood what we were saying to each other. And it was just fantastic. This was the first time in my knowledge that we had a mayor of the city come with his group of kids. And they were determined to put together this sister city with Rancho Palos Verdes. They were determined. Um, so he had mentioned in our lunchtime meeting, he goes, I, I am going to go there and I'm going to try to make sure that Rancho Palos Verdes understands how happy we would be to have a sister city. And he had a briefcase with all of his notes, with all of the maps, with all of the beautiful maps of the city, of the cherry trees. And I think he was just gonna go and present and make it happen, and he did. The connection was made between the two cities of Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura, Japan, but with one minor glitch, it was made in the middle of a global pandemic. With more on the logistics of how this would actually come together, we go to our deputy city manager, Karina Banyales. Very funny story. Okay. My first day was on a Monday, June 1st, and I remember sitting down with Ara and our city manager, and he said, you know, I keep getting contacted by Sakura City staff, and um, they're really trying to push this sister city you know, agreement through. I said, oh, that's great. And he said, well, we'd like for you to take it on. And I said, oh, it's now my third day on, you know, here at RPV. And I said, okay, well, I've never done it before. So I'm all about the journey and taking things on and just kind of learning as we go. And I want to say a week later, I was able to schedule a sit, a, a sit down via Zoom with Sakura City um, Director, her name is Ayaka and Ayaka oversees the policy administration side of um, their city. Very similar to my role within the city manager's office. And she um, had mentioned that it was really important for them to get this done as soon as possible because they were very excited and they wanted to keep the momentum going. They had already informed the community, the residents were aware of it. And there was a little bit of a lull between, you know, COVID happening and they really weren't getting much, you know, feedback or responses from both sides, you know, our city and their city. And so I thought, okay, well, let's take it on. And sure enough, uh, we met every single week uh, for about four hours. And so we would meet at five o'clock our time, which would be the next day, nine in the morning, their time. So I would be here from about five to seven in the evenings um, every week up until the signing of August 4th. And there it was a lot of logistics that, you know, people don't really realize what happened because normally you would have this done in person. They would come here, we would go there. Mm -hmm. But um, 
it wasn't like that. We had to ensure that there was translators at every single one of these meetings. And luckily they had someone on site that they were able to provide us with um, the translation services. And that's why these meetings were so long. They started at five o'clock for us and ended at seven because of the back and forth and the pausing and having to translate. We actually had a proclamation ready to go. We had them review it and both parties had to come in agreement. Then we had put together a resolution that the city council had to agree to the terms because it's not just a feel good, it's no, it's definitely it's a sister city relationship. It's a partnership. It's where both um, countries get together within this municipality and share common goals, the culture, the traditions, um, and have these long lasting conversations. It doesn't end today or that day, it kind of continues on. So it was really trying to put together a form of a policy as well, which we haven't quite enacted just at this time yet, but we needed to get the resolution in place. We did that. It was signed on July 21st. Then it followed the signing ceremony on August 4th. Between the first, 21st and the 4th, we met um, twice a week for an additional four hours twice a week. And we talked about how the speeches were going to roll out. So because they speak Japanese, all the speeches had to be translated. Hours into Japanese, there is Japanese into English. So our mayor, along with um, their mayor, our city staff, which is myself and Ada, the students, the teachers, the principals, they all had to prepare speeches. And we had to have them at least two weeks before the ceremony. The day of the ceremony, we actually had, the Monday before, so it was a Tuesday, so Monday before, we had a dry run and it was about a four hour dry run with their TV programming team um, and our IT division uh, here at RPD along with myself and all the speakers. Mm -hmm. uh, we read out speeches, we had to make sure the mics were working and there is a little bit of a delay. So that night of uh, the actual council meeting, there was an actual delay, but it was part of the nature. You know, we had never done this before, especially via Zoom. So the four hours of Zoom time that we had the day before really allowed us to kind of put things together on that Tuesday evening. Um, we had to get all the proclamations um, electronically signed first just to make sure that it matched the paper, the size. They have a different size than we do on paper size. So it was really interesting. The process was um, very tedious and we had to make sure that we had everything lined up. And it's kind of difficult when you're in two different countries and two different time frames. So, but it rolled out just nicely, just to ensure that this was a successful event. A successful event indeed. Here are some of the highlights from this very special ceremony. Good evening and good morning, honorable mayors and city councils of both Sakura City, Japan and Rancho Palos Verdes. We are excited to memorialize a sister city relationship with Sakura City by conducting this virtual ceremony event. At this time, we will begin an opening ceremony of speeches, beginning with Rancho Palos Verde City Mayor, John Cruikshank, followed by Sakura City City Mayor, Takashi Hanatsuka. Mayor Cruikshank, you may begin your speech. Hello to everyone joining us today from the great cities of Rancho Palos Verdes, United States of America, and Sakura City, Japan. Joining me today are my fellow city council members, Mayor Pro Tem Eric Alegria, Councilman Dave Bradley, Councilwoman Barbara Ferraro, and one of our city's founders, Councilman Ken Dida. We are citizens who seek and share knowledge. We yearn to celebrate our similarities and differences. We are not afraid to make mistakes as they help us grow. And today more than ever, we seek to find friendship and common goodness. Today we welcome our first sister city, Sakura City. And even though we are separated by an ocean, we build a strong partnership with Sakura City. When we met City Mayor Takashi Hanatsuka and his team earlier this year, it was apparent that they were here to form an everlasting bond. By formalizing this sister city bond, we take the next step to fostering the exchange of ideas and goodwill among our people. Kore Kara Shimai Toshe Toshete Yoroshiku One Gaishimas means I hope we have a great relationship as sister cities. Sakura City, 
City Mayor Takashi Hanatsuka. Hello in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. I'm Takashi Hanatsuka, the mayor of Sakura City. Nice to see you again. It's been about six months since I met all of you on a visit to Palos Verdes. You formally welcomed and presented me with a proclamation of thanks and appreciation on January 21st, 2020. Thank you very much at that time. And today, I'm filled with thankfulness again. I am deeply grateful to the mayor of the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, John Cruikshank, Mayor Pro Tem Eric Allegria, Council Member David Bradley, we welcomed here, Council Member Ken Daida, Council Member Barbara Ferraro, City Manager Ara Miranian, Deputy City, city Manager Karina Banales, Principal of Miraliste Intermediate School, Frank Califano. Congratulations on his daughter's wedding. And social studies teacher, as well as former ALT, Marin, Marin Kitana, and many people who have made this possible. Joining us this evening are three students that have participated in the Sakura City and Rancho Palos Verde Student Exchange Program. We shall begin with our very own Miss Renata Lopez, eighth grade student from Muralist Intermediate School. Hi, my name is Renata Lopez and I was a host for the Japanese Foreign Exchange Student Stay at Muralist. When I heard at school that I had the chance to have a student from Japan stay at my house and show her how I lived my life here, I was very excited to participate because I was very curious to see how someone from another country would think of a place like Paulus Verdes. Going to Rancho Palos Verdes was the most fun experience I've had to date. Getting off the plane started my completely new experience. The food and servings were huge. It was about three times the size of what I'm used to, but it was very delicious. The food was incredible and filled with flavors I've never experienced in Japan. People in RPB are very kind and warmly accepted us. I learned many things there, especially about robots and machines from my body. I and my fellow students performed onsen ondo, a traditional dance form. Since 2001, more than 300 students from two middle schools in Sakura City have traveled to Rancho Palos Verdes to attend Muralist Intermediate School enabling students from both cities to attain a robust cultural understanding and appreciation of both countries. Joining us is Ms. Malen Katana, creator of the exchange program at Muralist Intermediate School. I am very excited about this new connection between Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura City. Many years ago, as a recent college graduate, I ventured to Japan to teach English. I was assigned to a small rural town known then as Ujie, and now that is part of Sakura City. I taught at the middle school for a year. What an amazing experience. I learned so much, not only about Japan, but about myself. I am delighted that Sakura City and Rancho Palos Verdes have chosen to become sister cities. I look forward to continued relationships between the people of our two cities. Thank you. Arigato gozaimashita. Principal of Kitsuregawa Junior High School, Mr. Kiyochi Yokosuka. To date, Mirrorlist Intermediate School of Rancho Palos Verdes and Uji and Kitsuregawa Junior High Schools of Sakura have successfully completed 17 study abroad programs with each other. During these exchanges, we have deepened friendships, exchanged culture, and traditions of our respective countries while growing ever closer. And then in 2018, we began to formalize the relationship our cities have, culminating in the sister city agreement for which we have remotely gathered here today. We are here this evening to formally sign the sister city agreement between the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura City. 
Thanks to the foundation laid down by the youth of our two cities, a true connection between us has blossomed. Furthermore, to the principal of Mir Mirrorless Intermediate School, Mr. Frank Califano, and others such as Ms. Kitana, who have so warmly received students from Sakura City, we give our highest thanks and appreciation. We look forward to, to similarly showering Mirrorless Intermediate School students with Japanese hospitality as soon as safely possible. Before I go, I have heard that the Sakura tree, which was planted as a symbol of the connection between our two cities, has bloomed. I sincerely hope that the trees at Mirrorless Intermediate School and our junior high schools in Sakura continue to produce beautiful and vibrant flowers for years to come. Just as the Sakura trees blossom and grow year to year, I hope our students and cities continue to cultivate lasting bonds for generations to come. And Sakura City Superintendent, Mr. Keiji Hashimoto. Although we are in the midst of COVID-19, I am thankful for the uplifting news, which is the sister city agreement between the city of Ranchos Palos Verdes and Sakura City. While our three schools have been intertwined for 20 years, deepening educational and cultural understandings of each other, we now enter a new chapter with this program. The connection we embark on today is not solely for the benefit of students, but all of our citizens. We hope to, la to form lasting bonds between our cities in various categories, including tourism and business. Once the threat of COVID-19 has died down, I would love to experience the wonders of Rancho's Palos, Rancho Palos Verdes that our mayor has told me about. The picturesque views, succulent cuisine, uplifting spirits, and, all, and above all, the extreme kind-hearted residents are all things I cannot wait to see for myself. We here in Sakura City also eagerly await our chance to host you. We look forward to the joys of our new sister city agreement shall bring forth. The cities of Sakura City, Tochigi Prefecture, Japan, and Rancho Palos Verdes, California State, United States of America, have nurtured a close bound since 2001 as a school program. We hereby recognize our relationship as sister cities. The purpose of this agreement is to deepen and strengthen our friendship. The cities of Sakura City and Rancho Palos Verdes City and their respective citizens through active exchanges in a variety of areas such as culture, education, arts and sports will strive to further friendships and deepen their mutual understandings for the ultimate goal of world peace. Next, Mayor Hanatsuka. Thank you. We kindly ask that Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura City City Council begin signing the proclamation with both mayors being the last to sign. It's just such a wonderful cultural experience. I firmly believe that exchange student programs are the best way in the world to promote world peace. And I was so impressed by their students who spoke to us in English about their experience here. And it was so good to see that it had made an impact and that our kids were able to meet kids from other countries. And there's just no replacement for that one-on-one -on -one meeting and memories. I know largely this program started with one of the teachers there and that's just marvelous because look how it's grown, you know. We now know the mayor of Sakura City and he knows us. When we formed the city, it was a tremendous learning experience. We've gotten to the point I think now that we've learned some things and are ready now to expand that learning relationship. This is almost the same singular event as the formation of the city. Uh, we started something brand new. Uh, 
We, we struggled through it. We have now been a city for quite a while, and now we've had the opportunity to join with another city, much like ours. Basically, it's about the same size. It's got a coastline much like ours. It's got uh, the citizens I know, just like most people around the world, are looking for the same kinds of things from their government. Uh, and we each have a, perhaps a different way of providing that, where we can now share experiences and learn from each other the kinds of things that you normally don't expect to learn. Uh, but you have the advantage of that experience of the two cities coming together and sharing that knowledge. That's, that to me is probably uh, the singular most important thing. To be able to sign uh, the documents to be a sister city with the city of Sakura in, uh, just outside of Tokyo, Japan. Um, I did have the opportunity to go there in February. Um, I was in Tokyo for uh, business reasons, and I had an extra day, and I was able to go to Sakura City, uh, met the mayor, met the city council, got a great tour of their city, uh, beautiful city there. The formalization of a sister city arrangement with someone across the Pacific, um, showing those tightnesses of those relationships um, I think is so important to look at other cultures, other people, other nations. Um, I think it was just outstanding. Just a wonderful event. You could tell certainly how honored our counterparts from Sakura City were as well. Uh, and the feel, feeling was certainly mutual on our end as well. And, and I know we were just sort of uh, solidifying, if you will, memorializing a relationship that's really been in place for the last two decades uh -huh. between our two cities. Yeah. Uh, but it was so special and I particularly appreciated hearing from the students, both from Secure City and from the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, talking about the shared experience that they had. I see an opportunity for cross-cultural sharing and, and collaboration, which I'll, I'll note um, during these sort of unique times with the pandemic feels all that more special. Uh, also at a time when maybe international cooperation can, can be challenged, uh, it's just neat that we in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes in this little small corner of our world uh, have an opportunity to, um, to co co cross collaborate with uh, the city of uh, Sakura. Thank you so much. We shall proceed with the exchange of city gifts. The city gift from Rancho Palos Verdes is the city logo, which is depicted in the city's tile, which was designed by former mayor Tom Hollingsworth in 1978 and has been used by the city ever since. The logo is a blue and green, symbolizing the natural resources of the area and stylized uh, coastline panorama. While the logo is unique to our city, so too is a font, Rancho Contempo, that spells out the city's name. The gift from Sakura City is a vase made by the Tokichi-based potter, Kiyoko Shimada, because she creates every work with a special kind of refined elegance. She is known as a Sakura Cherry Blossom Potter. Even in our local Sakura Museum, some of her work is on display in the Sakura exhibit. So her connection to her city is strong. It is their hope that this small piece of Sakura in Rancho Palos Verdes will help bring both cities much closer. At this time, we ask that both city administrators from Rancho Palos Verdes, our city manager, Ada Miranian. Thank you. Good evening and good morning, and thank you to everyone for making tonight's ceremonial event possible. I would like to thank our city councils for believing in and supporting this relationship between our two cities, and give special thank you to our deputy city manager, Karina Banyayes, and general policy manager of Sakura City, Ayaka Igeta, for making tonight happen. Oftentimes, the residents of Rancho Palos Verdes describe our city as paradise. 
From our seven miles of pristine coastline, breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean, Catalina Island, and the Los Angeles Basin and Harbor, 1,400 acres of open space and 33 miles of trails, it epitomizes the definition of paradise for all. Sakura City, nearly 5,500 miles across the Pacific Ocean, encapsulates the essence of paradise as well. From its outdoor recreational amenities, including hiking trails, villages with mountain views, to the boundless fields of cherry blossoms, it is only natural that our two cities should form a sister city relationship. Tonight, we're proud to build on the bond fostered between our youths nearly two decades ago, which has blossomed into many deep and lasting friendships. The certificate signed this evening is more than signatures on a piece of paper. It represents a bond, a friendship, a relationship that unifies our two cities on a cultural and educational level. As city manager, I'm honored to be a part of tonight's historic moment for Rancho Palos Verdes, not only because it is a first for our city, but because it is with Sakura City. Unknown to me, I recently discovered that I actually have a personal connection to Sakura City. In April, I learned that my parents' 1962 wedding dinnerware set I grew up using on a regular basis is from Sakura City. And I'd like to show that with you. Mm. Which is the Sakura, the cherry blossoms, and behind it mentions Sakura Japan, and this is from 1962. Thank you. Next, City Council Chairman. Mr. Ishioka. I am pleased and honored to represent the Sakura City Council in this ceremony commemorating the sister city agreement between the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura City. The wonderful connection between our two cities began with the junior high school student exchange program. Since 2001, the city and people of Rancho Palos Verdes have warmly received the junior high students of Sakura City. For this, we have nothing but gratitude. Now, as our relationship evolves from purely scholastic to a true connection between cities, I want to express our heartfelt appreciation to the men and women of Rancho Palos Verdes City Council, whose committees and decisions have made this possible. Thank you. Previously, Council Member Bradley honored us in Sakura City with a visit. While he was here, he helped set up the groundwork for a lasting relationship between the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and Sakura City. After the threat of COVID-19 has died down, I am looking forward to returning the favor and having my own experience with the great people of Rancho Palos Verdes. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everyone who has made this day possible. Thank you honorable mayors and city councils of both Sakura City and Japan and Rancho Paul's Verdes. This concludes the Sister City Virtual Ceremony. We thank everyone for participating in this inaugural event for both cities. As we both know that we are committed to strengthening our cultural bonds and foster many enduring and deep friendships. Thank you. What an amazing journey for two cities that have created a bond that will last forever. I hope you've enjoyed watching history happen in your own city of Rancho Palos Verdes. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time.